so at this point i have my four main poles that are going to be the foundation of this canopy um, as you can see i'm on my third can of paint this paint only has 11 fluid ounces whereas normal cans of spray paint have 12 fluid ounces so i suggest if you're going to do this to get at least three cans of paint if you're pretty particular like i am because on camera this is coming up pretty good but i want another coat so yeah you can see in some places i definitely need another coat so that's why I bought another can. So yeah, I definitely was able to get the two coats on one side, but for the most part, I still needed to get the other side. So I went ahead and bought a third can of paint. And had I known, cause when I watched the original video, she didn't seem to have need that much paint, but I clearly do. And I actually bought four of these, which are my, you know, end connectors and i had one that was wrong so i'm about to spray paint this one right now with my new can it comes with a safety trigger sorry guys that's a train i literally live by a train so you want to do this outside definitely always spray paint outside you don't want to suffocate yourself a lot less opaque so I'm not gonna worry about it you can see there I got the half inch pipes and this is what a three-piece connector looks like and that's just after one coat they came out really pretty I'm gonna show you the rest of them inside this is what all of my pieces look like they're all done and as you can see which one is wrong one of these is the wrong okay so this that has the spoolie part that you can twist into this is the wrong piece so you want to be very careful because all of them were in the same box so i just grabbed four thinking they were the right thing you want to be very careful when getting these and these i got to be my bed posts at the end of my pole they fit right in there and if you can see inside there's a demarcation where the poles will sit so i feel like that'll help them to just sit flat on the ground and here are two other poles that I've already painted you can see how pretty of a rose gold pink that is it's called champagne pink and it came out really good so I'm really excited for the finished product once those four poles finish drying I still have these two poles that I haven't painted and I'll see if I can get a coat on there with the new can of paint. I should be able to because I basically have a full can still left. So I will show you guys when I do that. All right, so I have my two poles here. Please excuse my attire. I didn't want to get my clothes messed up. So I'm gonna try to put all of these together. I have my curtains on both poles and these are gonna be my side poles. I wanted to see how it looked before I put any curtains on the front of the bed because I kind of want you to see into the bed and then on the side it would be like this. So I will come back after that is done. Okay, so I've got one side of it standing um, I did the first uh, three poles and I used this stuff, which you can find at your local Dollar Tree.
to keep the ones on the wall connected so I could at least put <laughs> the other sides up. If you have two people to do this, it'll be a lot easier, but I'm about to put up the other one. And so I finally finished my canopy and it came out so cute. Very happy, very, very happy. So this is the look I got with my canopy beds. I even use a kind of holographic thing to tie them up. And I really hope you enjoyed my video. Like and subscribe and tell me what else you'd like to see. I'm not done with my room improvement, so there will be more videos with the complete look. But this is what we got so far. Thanks for watching.